Hello, my name is Harika. I am working as associate professor in department of ECE at the BVC Engineering College at Anamas. In this lecture, we will talk about the analysis of cascade and cascode amplifiers. In the last video, we have studied about uh, multi-stage amplifiers. First of all, we'll go with what is an analysis. Analysis means study of the behavior of an circuit. So here we study the behavior of a cascade and cascode amplifiers. Now we see the method of analysis of a transistor circuit. How to analysis your transistor circuits? Usually transistor circuits we can analysis based on signal. What is the signal we are applying based on the frequency? Means small signal low frequency analysis and small signal high frequency transistor analysis. So in the cascade and cascode amplifiers, we can go with the small signal low frequency analysis because these are used at your audio frequency range. So we can also analysis in the small signal high frequency analysis also. So first, how to what is what are the steps to analysis in the small signal low frequency or the small signal high frequency case? First of all, we have to draw the actual circuit. So which circuit we are going to be analysis that actual circuit diagram has to draw first step. And next one, so this uh, analysis is the AC analysis. So because of this reason, so what are the capacitors present in the circuit? That is coupling capacitors and the bypass capacitor has to short circuit. Next we have to replace the DC source by a short circuit. So the DC biasing is required to kept your transistor is in the desired region but in the AC analysis portion that uh, DC source has to the short circuit so that is the DC source is directly connected to the ground next we have to make the points like your base emitter collector on the circuit diagram and we have to locate these points uh, as the start of the equivalent circuit and then replace your transistor by its H parameter model so that is a small signal low frequency H parameter model or small signal high frequency H parameter model. So and then we have to calculate the gain so of this transistor that means we have to calculate voltage gain, current gain, power gain and input and output impedances of this um, transistor. In this analysis the main thing is we have to calculate the gain how much of gain that amplifier is uh, producing so that is a main understanding of this uh, analysis portion. Here we will go with the small signal low frequency analysis. In this analysis we use the H parameter model. So whereas in the small signal high frequency analysis we have to use the hybrid pi model. But here we use the small signal low frequency. So what are the benefits of these H parameters? So these H parameters all gives the real numbers at audio frequency range and these are very easy to measure and these can be obtained from the transistor static characteristics curve and convenient to use in the circuit analysis and the design. Most of the transistor manufacturers specifies the H parameter values. So I think you already know that what is the H parameter model of any transistor. So this figure shows the basic amplifier circuit. So we can notice that to form a transistor amplifier only it, it is necessary to connect an external load and a signal source like this is a signal source and this one is a external load. So the transistor in any one of the three possible configurations here the transistor is any one of the three possible configurations that we are having the CB, CC or CE. So but in the three configurations we prefer the CE because it offers both voltage gain and the current gain. Now we can replace the transistor circuit with its a small signal H parameter model as like this. Here the transistor is replaced with this uh, small signal H parameter model. Let us analysis this model to find the current gain, input resistance, the voltage gain and output resistance. And this we can analysis with the help by using your H parameter equation. These are shows the H parameter equations. So in this one that V1 is a in 
input of the transistor voltage and the H1 is the input impedance, I1 is the input current and HR this is called reverse voltage gain and V2 is the output voltage and I2 output current. So that is equal to the HF I1, HF is the forward current gain, I1 is input current plus H4 output admittance H4 is called and this V2 is the output voltage. So with the help of this equation 1 and 2 we can analysis this uh, transistor amplifier circuit with the help of H parameter model then we will get uh, these values and in this case so that H1 is we can calculate so by just uh, short circuit the output voltage that V2 equal to the 0 then we will get the H1 is equal to V1 I1 when V2 equal to the 0 and similarly the reverse voltage in HR we will get by open circuit the input current that is the I1 equal to the 0 that is input has to the open circuit then we will get your HR that is the reverse voltage gain V2 by V1 and similarly we can calculate your forward current gain and then the output admittance values. By solving the equation 1 and 2 we will get the generalized small signal analysis of transistor amplifier here first we are getting your ai that is a current gain so the generalized equation current gain ai is equal to minus hf by 1 plus h4 rl and the same current gain with source by taking the source into the consideration then we'll get your ai rs by zi plus rs and next input impedance is a zi this is equal to hi plus hr AI RL that is also equal to after substituting your e, AI equation in that so we will get a, HI minus HF HR H0 by H0 plus YL and the voltage gain AV so AV equal to AI RL by ZI and similarly voltage gain with source AVS that is equal to AV RI by ZI we are by z i plus r s and the same in terms of your a i is this one and in terms of your current gain with source is this one a i s r l by r s and the output admittance okay so that is y not is equal to h four minus h f h r by h i plus r s and the power gain is simply will get the product of your voltage gain and the current gain so these are the generalized formulas of your small signal analysis here that suffixes are not represented here that is uh, that uh, configuration is belongs to the CE, CB, CC is not mentioned here so and these equations are for the exact analysis method based upon these equations so now we can go with the analysis of your cascade amplifiers this figure shows the two states RC coupled cascade amplifier here the two stages are the CE CE amplifiers the first stage is a common emitter and second stage is also a common emitter here the output of a first stage is coupled to the input of the next stage through the coupling capacitor and again you resistive load at the output of terminal of the first stage so with the help of your CC and your RL the output of the first stage is connected to the input of the second stage the coupling does not affect the quotient point of the next stage. The coupling capacitor CC blocks the DC voltage of the first stage from reaching the base of the second stage. The RC network is broadband in nature. So therefore it gives a wideband frequency responses without a peak at any frequency and hence used to cover a complete audio frequency amplifier bands. Now to enhance these two states CEC -E cascade amplifier the first the coupling capacitors present in the circuit that is your C in CC -E and bypass capacity is the CE -E of the stage 1 stage 2 and CC -E. all these are has to the short circuit okay simply these are has to the short circuit like this these are has to the short circuit so when these are the short circuit so especially 
that bypass capacitors observed here at the REC. So this short circuit line and here is the resistance is present. So this is totally replaced within a short circuit. Okay. So and this is the first step. We have to take your uh, actual circuit diagram. That is the first step. And next one we have to show the capacitors present in the circuit. That is your second step. And third one that VCC the biasing voltage what you are having in the circuit that VCC has to connect it to the ground. This is has to connect it to your ground. So after replacing these things next we have to indicate the each base of this transistor and next your emitter of the stage one and the collector and similarly that base emitter and your collector of the second stage also. Now this is replaced this transistor has to replace with its H parameter transistor model. Now see here this portion. So the first stage is replaced with the, the transistor is replaced with this four times. This is the general exact model of your transistor amplifier circuit and the second stage of this amplifier is also replaced with this equivalent circuit. Okay. Okay, now see that. So here the when starting with your signal source is a VS and that is connected to the source resistance is a RS and next the resistors R1 and R2 these are comes to the parallel to each other when your VCC is connected to the ground. So that equivalent is a R1 parallel to the R2 and after that that is connected to the base of the transistor. So this transistor is replaced with the H parameter model is a HIE, HRE, HFE and HOE. So now the first stage that R1, R2 parallel combination is connected to the transistor HIE and your voltage source HRE into output voltage is the VCE here and the output portion of this transistor is replaced with the current source that is a HFE IB input current is a IB and next that uh, HOE that is a output admittance and next the output you are taking from your load resistor of the first test so that is the reason why that we are representing here is a collector so that is a that is RL is a equal to here is a RC one we are representing. So that is the equivalent of the first test and similarly to the second test and the capacity is the short circuit so the output coming from your RC1 is connected to the base of the second stage transistor and similarly the second stage also replaced like that okay with the exact model of your transistor. So after replacing this oral structure with its uh, H parameter equivalent then we have to calculate the gains of the amplifier. In this analysis we are having the two stages so because of that reason so we have to start the analysis from the last stage and then we have to come to the first stage so here is the last stage is your second stage in this case also so in the second stage just we can calculate its a current gain voltage gain and input temper input impedance so the second stage output admittance is not calculated here that output admittance has to calculate after calculating the first stage values. Now in the analysis of this one so directly here we can uh, note down these analysis formulas with the help of your previous uh, summarized values of uh, small signal transistor analysis formulas that is uh, like this. So your AI is equal to minus H of by 1 plus H for RL. By using these uh, standard uh, values we directly go with the analysis formulas of uh, two states CEC cascade amplifier. So in the analysis first we can go with your second stage. So in the second stage first we can calculate the current gain. So that is represented with the AI2 second stage. So that current gain is represented with the AI2. So in the second stage the output current is passes through your load resistor and that is uh, same as your collector current flowing through the second stage but both are is in the opposite direction so that is the reason why that we can represent the minus IC2 by IB2. So from your standard formula AI2 is equal to minus HFE by 1 plus HOE RL. And next coming to its input impedance. So in the input impedance is generalized formula is the HIE 
plus HRE AI to RL. So after replay after substituting your AI to so then we will get this value. And but the total input impedance of the second stress is uh, depends upon the that biasing resistors present in the circuit. So we are having in the biasing resistors. Just see this uh, diagram again. So in this uh, diagram, so in this uh, diagram, so that input resistance impedance of your stress two is also having your R one is parallel to the R two. So including this one, we'll get the. total input impedance of the second stress of the amplifier so that is the reason why in this case z i to dash equal to z i to parallel to r t h 2 so that is a parallel combination of the second stress biasing resistance is r 1 and the r 2 and next we'll go with the voltage gain so that is voltage gain is a output voltage by input voltage so vc2 by vb2 so then we can write your equation avt equal to ai2 rl by zi2 so after calculating these three values next we have to go with the first stage analysis and how your analysis your second stage and similarly for the first stage also we have to calculate your current gain input impedance and voltage gain and then we can calculate the output impedance of the first stage Okay, that output impedance of the first stress is this one. So Y not one equal to H Y E minus H R E H F E by H I E plus R S dash. Here the R S dash is nothing but the parallel combination of your source resistance R S parallel to the your biasing resistances of first stress R one R two that equivalent is R T H one. So then your Z O one is equal to one by Y not one. The total output impedance. And similarly, the second stage we can calculate. So, because why you calculating your second stage uh, output impedance after calculating the first stage means that output impedance of the first stage is acts like any source for the second stage, source resistance for the second stage. So that is the reason why first after calculating the first stage output impedance, next we can calculate the second stage output impedance. The first stage output impedance acts like any source for the second stage. So, in the output uh, impedance calculation, so the signal source has to be zero. So that including your source will get as a output uh, impedance of the first stage. So this is R S two. See here, R S two is there. So because of that reason, we can calculate uh, second stage impedance after calculating the first stage values. And that overall voltage gain that simply is a product of uh, Two voltage gains. A V is equal to A V one into A V two. So this is the overall current gain. That is also similarly A I one into A I two. So here we are having the some resistors in the circuits because of that reason we will get this term also in the analysis one. Next, these are the including your sources. So voltage gain with source resistance and the current gain with source I H. So these are the values of uh, From uh, values of your current gain, voltage gain of your cascade amplifier, CEC cascade amplifiers. Next, see the CECC cascade amplifier. So this figure shows the actual circuit diagram of your CECC cascade amplifier. Of course, here the source resistance uh, load and these values are the indicated here. So in this analysis also. So first we have to draw the equivalent diagram. So when you are drawing the equivalent diagram in this circuit, we are not representing any capacitor. So just the power supply VCC has to connect it to the ground. Once the VCC is connected to the ground, and this figure is shows the AC equivalent circuit. So just uh, the RC one is connected from collector to the VCC. So that is comes from your collector to the ground, and the remaining uh, that VCC is connected to the ground like this. So this is a AC equivalent model. Now this AC equivalent model is replaced with a with a hybrid H parameter model, hybrid model with a exact model. And if this condition is satisfied, H Y R L is less than zero point one. We have to satisfy. If this satisfied, then the transistor is replaced with the simplified model. So just to understand the difference of these two, now we can see the the C E C C cascade amplifier in the exact model. As well as your simplified model. So let us see in the next the exact model here. So this is your first. This first figure is represents your exact 
model. This one represents the exact model. Here, the transistor is replaced with the, the C is replaced with the H parameter model. So, as the exact model with these four parameters. Okay. And similarly, the CC, the second stage is the CC that is replaced, replaced with its exact model according to its parameter that is HIE, HRE, HFE and HOE. So, this is your exact model representation of the CE, CC cascade amplifier. Now, if the condition HOE RL is re, uh, condition is less than 0 0.1, now the same circuit is replaced with a simplified model. In the simplified model, that a source uh, that is an input, uh, sorry, the input voltage that is a HRE, VC1 is not present and also the HOE is uh, neglected. So, in the two cases also. So, and the CC is the second stage that CC has to replace with the simplified model with the help of your CE terms also by just by remembering this diagram. So, that is here if you are taking here is the base and here is the collector and this is the emitter if you are taking in the simplified model between your base and the emitter we have to get your input impedance like this so that is a h i e and between your collector and the emitter we have to get your current source so current source so i think you remember this diagram so according to this one here this second stage the simplified model of uh, cc is replaced to like this so this is a simplified model of your two stage ce cc amplifier so just for only difference uh, here I am representing both exact model and the simplified model. Do we have to go for the simplified model only when that HOE RL less than 0 0.1 condition less than or equal to 0 0.1 condition. This has to satisfy then we can replace your transistor with the simplified model. Otherwise we have to go with your exact model only. In the two cases also as usual once your circuit is your right so simply we can calculate your gains the current gain voltage gain all this so from the diagram if you see here is ib1 is represents the input current of the first stage ic1 is the output current of the first stage and ib2 is represents the input current of the second stage and ie2 is represents the your output current of the second stage so if you are having the input currents uh, uh, input output uh, currents we can calculate your current gain and similarly voltages we can calculate your voltage gain so like that we can analysis so by using your summarized values of small signal low frequency model next we can go with your cascode amplifier so this is also in the multi-stage amplifier so in this cascode amplifier the first stage is the common emitter the first stage is the common emitter stage in series within a common base amplifier this is a series with the common base amplifier as shown in this figure okay. it is one approach to solve the low impedance problem of a common base circuit okay this is used to eliminate your problem of your common base uh, circuit here the transistor t1 and its associated components operated as a common emitter stays while the circuit of t2 this one functions as a common base output stage. The cascode amplifier gives low input capacitance, a high input impedance of a common emitter amplifier as well as the good voltage gain and the good high frequency performance of a common base circuit. This arrangement ensures that this arrangement ensures that the input Miller capacitance is at the minimum level as input capacitance is minimum the circuit provides good high frequency response. Most of voltage gain is achieved in the CB states. Okay. For the DC bias condition of the circuit, it is seen that the emitter current of uh, T1, this one, is set by VE1 and RE1. The collector current IC1, this one, the collector current IC1, approximately equal to IE1. And IE2, this IE2, that is a second stage, that is a CB, 
emitter current IE2 is same as the IC1 because uh, here in this connection just if you observe observe that output of the stage 1 is from the collector and this is connected to the second stage the second stage is the CB in the CB the input terminal is a emitter so these two are is a connected so that IE2 is same as your IC1 that the IC2 approximately equal to the IC2 is approximately equal to the IE1 this current remains constant regardless of the levels of your VB2 as long as VC1 remains large enough for the current operation of your T1 transistor. Now we see the AC equivalent circuit of your cascode amplifier. In this case, so the VCC has to connect it to the ground and next the capacitors has to the short circuit when this capacitor is the short circuit and uh, here the r1 and r2 of the cb is also parallel to the short circuit your c2 so that we can eliminate the parallel combination of your r1 and the r2 just we'll get the a parallel combination of your this r3 and the r4 that is nothing but your here is the rp so this represents your ac equivalent of your cascode amplifier and Next we see the simplified H parameter circuit of cascode amplifier like this. Here the replacing transistors with their simplified equivalent circuit diagrams. Here these are replaced. The C is replaced with the simplified diagram and the CB is also replaced with the simplified diagram. After replacing this one, so we know that the stage 1 is a common emitter. So input current is IB1. So output current is a IC1 and input Voltage of the stage 1 is a VB, VB1 and output is a VCE1. So with this one we can calculate the stage 1 voltage gain and current gain. And similarly second stage also we can calculate the voltage gain and current gain. And here also in the analysis of these calculations of the gains, the first we have to start with the second stage. Input current and your input impedance and voltage gain so here is the current gain of this uh, second stage the cb amplifier in this circuit we will get the ai2 equal to hfe by 1 plus hfe so whereas in the input resistance we will get hie by 1 plus hfe and the voltage gain here here we will get ai2 into load resistor of the second stage RL2 and your RI2. So simply I am writing here just uh, second stage values AI second stage here. So this is equal to HFE by 1 plus HFE. Okay. And similarly the input resistance HIE HIE by 1 plus HFE and similarly we can calculate the stage 1 values also the stage 1 is a common emitter amplifier these values also you can get this is in the simplified model so simply we will get your stage 1 AI is equal to the minus HFE and your RI1 of the stage 1 RI1 is also equal to the HIE and AB1 is equal to AI1 RL1 by RI1 Okay. So, we will get your overall voltage gain and overall current gain just by multiplying its individual voltage gains and the current gains. So, this is the analysis of a cascade amplifier. So, in this lecture, we will we talked about a method of analysis of a transistor circuit. So, what are the basic steps to in the analysis portion? So, again I am re revising. So, we have to draw the actual circuit diagram. Next, you have to replace your capacitors by short circuit and the DC by is also short circuit. Now, we have to indicate the base emitter collector points and have to replace your transistor by its equivalent. And then we have to calculate your voltage gain, current gain and input output impedances of the amplifier. And next, we are seeing with the general analysis of your transistor amplifier.
so there are standard generalized summarized equations of these uh, gains and the impedances and then we see the cascade amplified uh, analysis cece and cecc and after that finally we are see the cascode amplifier example of this one is the cecb okay so in the next in the next lecture we will see that uh, high input impedance amplifiers analysis thank you